Hi guys, welcome to part one of the AR636 programming series, Getting Started. Uh, what we're going to be talking about here is all of the different parts that we need to have on hand and the different software that we need to have on hand and installed uh, prior to continuing with the series. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is the stuff that we need to buy. Um, or if we have it already, you can use what you've got. Uh, the first thing is the AR636 receiver itself. Currently, it's available for $79.99 from HorizonHobby.com, or you can purchase it from any Horizon retailer. Uh, the AR636 is the actual receiver that we're going to be programming. Uh, you can either buy it retail, or if you can salvage it from a wrecked airplane, any of the E-Flight, or, uh, you know, not any... Uh, but certainly a majority of the current E-Flight bind and fly models uh, came equipped with AR636 receivers in them. So if you happen to have an old wrecked uh, E-Flight model, you may already have an AR636, either an AR636A or AR636B, uh, both of which can be programmed uh, with very few exceptions the same way that you program an AR636. All right, the next thing that we're going to need to buy is the USB programming cable, which you see here. The USB programming cable allows us to plug into a PC with the USB side and take the, uh, the servo side and plug that into the programming port of the, the receiver. Uh, it can also be used to program the DXE transmitter, but for the purposes of this series, we're looking at programming the AR636 uh, AS3X receiver. Uh, so we'll just stick to that for now. Uh, and the last thing that you'll need to buy in order to follow along with all of the different uh, steps of the series is the Bluetooth programming module, uh, which allows us to use a mobile device such as a phone or a tablet and applications that are available either in the Apple App Store or in the Google Play Store for Android devices and, uh, and do programming at the field you know, wirelessly, where we plug this into the aircraft and we use the application to change things that, uh, you know, that need to be changed quickly at the field, as opposed to setting up the entire model. Uh, I don't like setting up the entire model over the applications. I'd rather use the PC software. To me, it seems more intuitive and allows us a little more granular control over some of those settings. All right, now for the software that we need to download, all of the links that are in my description, number one, uh, that you have links for everything that I just went over. So you've got links in the description for the receiver, for the USB programming cable, and the, uh, the Bluetooth programming module that you see here. Uh, in order to download the software, in the description, they are direct download links. So if you click on the links in the description, it will download them directly. You do not need to go through what I'm showing you right here. If for whatever reason, those uh, links are not working for you, then go ahead and follow along. Um, if we go back to um, the USB interface on the horizonhobby.com website, we will see that there's a PC download button here towards the bottom of the website. And that is the button that we would want to click on that will take us over here to the web page for the Spectrum Programmer Beta. We scroll down a little bit, we'll see a download link for version 3.4. That's the latest version at the time of the writing or at the time of this, uh, this video. So that's the one that you're going to want to download. All right. The next thing that we want to download, and if you, uh, again, look at the description, Scroll down, uh, you know, the description and try to find the section for the Flight Engineer blog post. Go ahead and click on that link and that will take you to a uh, an RC Group's blog from a user named Flight Engineer. Uh, he is a fantastic resource. Almost everything that I've learned, in fact, I, I'd say 99% of what I've learned about AR636 programming, I have learned through the resources that Flight Engineer has made available to the RC Group's community. Um, so if we look through his blog posts, we will find one that is called the Safe Model Builder Program. This is a small application, third party, that Flight Engineer developed. 
And if you go down to the bottom of that blog post, you will see a link to download a zip file for the Safe Model Builder for AR636. And lastly, I would encourage you guys to download the Ultimate Guide to Installing AR636 with Safe. Uh, and there is a link uh, in the file section at the bottom of this blog post. Uh, it is a PDF document the flight engineer made that has some fantastic resources in it and it's very easy to follow along with uh, and you feel free and I encourage you to follow along with it as we go through uh, the different steps throughout this series. All right guys so that should be everything that we need to download. Uh, again all of the products are in the description. Just to recap you're going to need an AR636 receiver, you're going to need the USB programming cable, and you are going to need the Bluetooth programming module if you want to do things at the field without having to have a big laptop that you're lugging around with you. Uh, for software, we're going to need the Spectrum programming software as well as the Safe Model Builder third party application. And for documentation, you're going to want to download the ultimate guide to installing AR636 with Safe from the Flight Engineer blog post, and that's that large PDF document that I was referring to. All right, so that wraps up getting started. Let's move on to our next step, which is installing the software.